I thought those were discontinued. They were. I had to order them through some Mexican back channels. Whether salty or sweet, you've got a favorite snack that you just love. So how would you feel if that fave was taken away? Here are the top 10 discontinued snacks Americans miss the most. Part two, Black Pepper Jack Doritos. Now hold my pepper jack, please. Present at every single party you've probably ever been to, there aren't many people in North America who haven't eaten these triangles of joy. I had had like a million Doritos. With their increasing popularity, Doritos has released a slew of new flavors since their modest beginnings, one of which was Black Pepper Jack Doritos. Packaged in a silver bag so shiny you could see your reflection in it. I'm not through with you, Buster. I'm not through with you! These Doritos Doritos were flavored with black pepper and pepper jack cheese, instead of their normal nacho cheese. While these quickly gained a lot of fans, they were discontinued around 2008 in order to make room for other flavors. Let's hope this one comes around again. Mickey's Parade Mickey Mouse Bars I'm the mascot of an evil corporation! <laughs> this lovable anthropomorphic rodent is extremely recognizable with his big ears, red shorts, yellow shoes, and white gloves. Considering his extreme popularity amongst the kids, it's a surprise that it took so long to release a summer treat in Mickey's honor. It's about time. Distributed by Good Humor back in the 1980s, the Mickey's Parade Mickey Mouse Bars put a retro spin on your everyday ice cream bar. They were shaped like the head of the mouse we all know and love, and Mickey's ears were dipped in chocolate. There was also a line of popsicles, which also included Minnie Mouse, Goofy, and Donald Duck. While these frozen treats may have faded from the freezers, they haven't faded from our memories. And there are plenty of petitions to bring these back. Magic Burst Pop-Tarts We don't need to kill anymore. We have Pop-Tarts. Introduced in 1964, Pop-Tarts are the breakfast food that kids and adults have been obsessed with for decades. This super sweet toaster pastry has a sugary filling sealed inside two layers of thin crust, sometimes with icing or sprinkles adorning the top. There is one particular flavor you can't reach for since it has vanished into thin air. Magic Burst Pop-Tarts were popular in the late 90s. These sweet treats were blue raspberry flavored, and the thing that made them fun was was that they changed color when you toasted them. Is that for a magic trick? In the online petition to bring them back, the comments are flooded with stories about these magical tarts, of how they melt in your mouth like no other, and of the wonder of watching your Pop-Tart change color, and then cracking it open to see the stripes inside. Oh, was that stripes? Let's hope the encore to this vanishing act is a reappearance of Magic Burst Pop-Tarts. Crunch Taters. Later, Tater. Everyone is familiar with Lay's potato chips, but do you remember Crunch Taters? Frito-Lay's Crunch Taters were available around the late 1980s and early 1990s, and what made them stand out was that they were extra crunchy, extra spicy, and there was an alligator with a cowboy hat on the front of the bag. An alligator with sunglasses? <laughs> now I've seen everything. These came in two flavors, Hoppin' Jalapeno and Mighty Mesquite Barbecue. Being the first snack food producer to ever purchase TV commercials, Frito-Lay decided to live up to their history. They used product placement for Crunch Taters in Home Alone. I made my family disappear. These snacks are a favorite of Kevin McAllister. A bag of the Mighty Mesquite barbecue flavor chips can be seen next to a can of Pepsi when Kevin is watching Angels with Filthy Souls and eating a rather large ice cream sundae. Well, even though these were fairly popular, they were discontinued shortly after. R.I.P. Crunch Taters. Planters PB Crisps. Because I mean, come on, right? It's peanut butter! Introduced in 1992 and discontinued by 1995, Planters PB Crisps were a delectable mid 90s snack that everyone wanted a bite of. But like so many great snacks, they were pulled from shelves quickly and quietly. So as they say, all good things must come to an end. Essentially, a PB crisp was a graham cookie shaped like a peanut shell and filled with mouth-watering peanut butter cream. Also available were chocolate crisps, which had a chocolate cream filling, and PB and J crisps, which featured a strawberry jelly filling to go with the peanut butter cream, giving the effect of a bite-sized PB and J sandwich. Peanut butter meat jelly. Upon their first first introduction to the market, this snack was an immediate hit. Alas, we must acknowledge that nothing lasts forever and try to find a way to properly mourn these amazing snacks. Maybe by reissuing them for one last hurrah. Cinna Crunch Pebbles But did you know 
I'm a serial killer. Who doesn't love the Flintstones? Back in 1971, Post decided to create a serial based off of the widely popular cartoon. The serials first introduced were Cocoa Pebbles and Fruity Pebbles, the boxes of which featured all of your favorite characters. Oh, Flintstones living up in here? Did you know this is the oldest surviving serial brand that is based on characters from a TV series or movie? And while the Cocoa Pebbles and Fruity Pebbles are still alive and well, it's the Cinecrunch Pebbles that were forced to bite the dust. Introduced in 1998, these were unlike any other pebbles. Instead of being crisp rice, Cinecrunch pebbles were described as sweetened oat, corn, and wheat cereal baked with a touch of real cinnamon. I smell cinnamon rolls. A TV ad for the cereal showed that the cereal was created when a meteor crashed into the cinnamon bakery, sending small nuggets of cinnamon goodness all over the town of Bedrock. This cinnamony sweet blessing was only around for a short amount of time, before for being sent back to the Stone Age in 2001. Starburst Fruit Twists. Just eat this Starburst. Wow, lemons, oranges, cherries, so juicy. Manufactured by the Wrigley Company, Starburst is a popular box-shaped fruit-flavored soft taffy. But we're not talking about the Starburst that can still be found. We're talking about the Starburst of the past. Starburst fruit twists were extremely similar to Twizzlers, but as its fans will tell you, the difference is that they tasted way better. Not even close. Sink Twizzlers, except make them softer and with the bold flavors that are Starburst's trademark. Plus, they came in four different flavors. Those who ate these as kids are still diehard fans, and there are plenty of online petitions calling for their mighty return. But why did they go away in the first place? Well, there are rumors that Hershey's, the owner of Twizzlers, paid them off in order to remove competition from the shelves. If you can't beat them, Join him. Who said the world of candy was so sweet? While this is a disappointing end for the Starburst fruit twists, discontinued candies do tend to make a comeback every once in a while. Maybe one day we can taste the heavenly flavors of Starburst fruit twists once again. Twizzlers twerps. You unrepented little twerp. Twizzlers is the product of one of the oldest confectionery companies in the United States, Y and S Candies, which today is owned by Hershey's. First produced in 1929, their famous red vines are basically made up of corn syrup, wheat flour, sugar, cornstarch. So sugar, sugar, and more sugar. More sugar, more sugar. While the most popular flavor of Twizzlers is strawberry, the company has also experimented with its flavor line with grape, chocolate, cherry, watermelon, and there's even a cherry cola and rainbow. <gasps> Guys, look a rainbow. However, none of these flavors can compare to Twizzlers twerps. Slightly larger than a nib and packed with way more flavor, Twizzlers twerps quickly gained popularity when they were released in the early 2000s. The thing that made them so special was the fact that they had a larger, chewier center filled with a Starburst-like filling. These packed with flavor snacks were unfortunately discontinued in 2009, but if you want them back, there are plenty of petitions online that you can sign. Little Caesars Chocolate Ravioli. Ravioli is delicious. I notice you're enjoying that ravioli with a beautiful set of teeth. Little Caesars is the third highest ranking pizza chain in the United States, right behind Pizza Hut and Domino's. Uh, what's this? P-Hut. Oh, Pizza Hut. While known for their pizza, it's the chocolate ravioli that has Little Caesars fans looking back on the past. Founded over 60 years ago in 1959 by Mike and Marion Illich, its first location was in a strip mall in Garden City, Michigan, under the name Little Caesars Pizza Treat. Today, they operate not only in the United States, but also internationally, with restaurants in Asia, the Middle East, and Latin America. In any case, this pizza chain has their fair share of successful items. Out of all their menu items, though, we've got to say that their most interesting has got to be their chocolate ravioli. Yep, you heard it here first. This was actually a thing. Surprisingly, people actually liked it in a trashy but yummy kind of way. If they ever bring these back, we know we definitely want to give it a try. Okay. Here goes nothing. Bar none candy bars. You really have to say, oh yeah, every time you eat a candy bar. I can't help it, Oscar. It's just really good. In 1987, Hershey's released the Bar None Candy Bar, also known as Temptation to Canadian audiences. The first new candy bar that they'd released in decades. Hershey's reportedly spent $15 million on testing and development before releasing the bar on a national scale. Shortly after distribution began, they invested even more money into national TV, radio, and newspaper ads, all advertising their new product. 
Bar None featured a cocoa wafer, chocolate cream, peanuts, and a milk chocolate coating. Because of how delicious it was, the Bar None candy bar quickly became a national favorite. Oh, I'm so depressed. Engage candy bar. It truly was the perfect chocolate lover's bar. So what happened? Well, after five years of paradise, Hershey's cruelly decided to change things up by adding caramel into the mix and splitting the bar into two smaller bars. Bad caramel. Too much bad caramel. By 1997, the thrill and magic of the original Bar None bar was gone and the product was discontinued. However, there is no need to fear. Iconic Candy LLC, a company which is dedicated to bringing back nostalgic candy, has recently picked up the rights to this fantastic fantastic snack, so be on the lookout. This is truly one of the greatest treats out there. Stay right there and tap that screen for another great video. Show us some love and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.